what is momentum let consider that two objects are falling down from a height of 200 meter let the mass of this object is 5 kg and the mass of this object is 50 kg these both bodies accelerate with the same speed towards earth if i ask you to catch one object out of these two objects which object would you choose to catch i am sure you will choose the object of mass 5 kg is it because the mass of 5 kg is less than 50 kg the answer in physics is a no it is because the momentum of 5 kg body is less than the momentum of 50 kg object in physics we define momentum as the cross product of mass and velocity we denote momentum by p hence p is equal to mass and to velocity we know that velocity is a vector quantity hence momentum is also a vector quantity the direction of momentum is same as the direction of the velocity now how can we calculate the s a unit of momentum as we know that momentum is equal to mass into velocity our momentum is equal to m into v the s a unit of mass is kg and the s a unit of velocity is meter per second hence the s a unit of momentum is kg meter per second this unit of momentum tells us just the quantity of a motion present in a body or in a mass now how can we calculate the momentum of an object let me give you two cases in case 1 if a person is standing on a road suddenly a bicycle of mass 50 kg moving with a velocity of 60 meter per second hits the person as a common observation the person would only be injured now consider the same person in case 2 if this person is standing on a road now suddenly a truck of 2500 kg moving with the same velocity of 60 meter per second hits the person as a common observation the person may die can you guess that a person in case 1 is only a merely injured while the person in case 2 is either died or in serious condition also both the bicycle and truck were moving with the same velocity of 60 meter per second i hope that your answer would be the difference in masses if it is so then you are 100% right let me explain these two cases in physics in case 1 the mass of bicycle is 50 kg it mean mass is equal to 50 kg and its velocity v is equal to 60 meter per second hence the momentum p of the bicycle is equal to mass of the bicycle and the velocity of the bicycle now putting values in the formula p is equal to 50 kg and to 60 meter per second we get 3000 kg meter per second hence the momentum of bicycle is 3000 3000 kg meter per second in case 2 the mass of truck m is equal to 2500 kg while the velocity of the truck is 60 meter per second hence the momentum of truck p is equal to mass of the truck and to velocity of the truck thus p is equal to 2500 kg and to 60 meter per second we get p is equal to 150000 kg meter per second so the momentum of truck is 150000 kg meter per second this shows that the momentum of a bicycle is smaller than that of the momentum of a truck 
therefore a person is merely injured in case 1 when it was hit by the bicycle while in case 2 the person got serious injuries or death when it was hit by the truck at last let me teach you does a stationary body possesses momentum to answer this question let me give you an another example if a car of mass m is stationary or at rest its velocity v is equal to 0 meter per second hence its momentum is equal to p is equal to m and to v thus p is equal to m and to 0 or p is equal to 0 kg meter per second it shows that if an object is at rest its momentum p would be zero or we can say that the momentum p of an object would be zero if the body is at rest i hope you have learned the fundamental concept of momentum thank you very much for watching this video